I can order it right now. With a tap on his smartphone, Alexis Cornelier can hail a cab. Six minutes, and uh, we see it on the, on the highway, so he's approaching. Track the taxi en route, call the driver directly, and pay straight from his online account. One of the most popular apps offering the service is California-based Uber. It connects passengers to the nearest taxi or limo drivers in 100 cities around the world. Licensed cab and limo drivers sign up with Uber, get a free smartphone with the app, and hand over a percentage from each ride. Uber says it's not a taxi company but a tech service and that it doesn't need to pay cities for a license to operate. We don't do any dispatch, we don't do any publicity in taxis, so it's why we are not a taxi company. But officials in Toronto and Montreal say Uber is ignoring the laws on taxis and limos. Uh, they're not in the bylaws, they're not working with the bylaws that exist in the city. Cab companies say it's unfair competition because Uber doesn't have to follow the same rules they do. They should protect us, they should protect the population, they should protect the, the, the customers too. The City of Toronto is taking Uber to court for operating without a license. Toronto cab companies don't expect Uber to back down. I don't think that the regulator has the sort of so-called teeth to deal with this. I don't think they understand it and I don't think they know how to stop it. Uber gave up attempts to establish itself in Calgary and Vancouver and it's had troubles in cities across the U.S. and Europe with disputes with drivers, fights with regulators and tension with cab companies. There were protests by cabbies in Paris and in Brussels an outright ban. Drivers working with Uber can be fined up to 10,000 euros. City officials in Montreal are watching the controversies in Toronto and elsewhere, but there's no issues for customers like Cornelier, who's happy to get on board. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.